Hello, hello. Here we are again our, with our weekly conversation and wonderful guest, Nancy Robillard. And today we have a special, okay? I want to share an experience that Nancy had because when a few weeks ago I asked, who wants to be my guinea pig? I need a guinea pig to test my new seven day meal plan. And it's specifically designed for speakers, for business women who speak a lot, for marketing, or for just high performing women who want to show up and look at their best. So that's what the whole meal plan was about. But of course, I wanted proof. I wanted Pudding in the proof or proof in the proof in the pudding, right? And so Nancy did this test run. And we will talk today about her experiences with the plan, uh, the wins that she had, everything, and we will be fully transparent. And Nancy, welcome. Hi. Hello, thanks for having me. <laughs> yes, uh, it's always a pleasure. And People who are watching this, you have to know Nancy and I, we teamed up, right? Uh, in the beginning when we met, we felt that click, we felt we could bring really awesome um, value to you and maybe even to your community. So that's why we're doing this on a weekly basis, uh, bringing value about different topics. And today it's about an experience that she had with my new seven day meal plan for speakers. Actually, I called it eat to speak <laughs> we'll talk about the title too nancy <laughs> so um okay let's start at the beginning when i sent you that file the whole uh, bundle with recipes or shopping lists um and what was your first impression when you opened that file well i had said to marie claire i'll be your guinea pig because I had a couple of the speaking engagements coming up and I wanted to feel great and uh, maybe look better, maybe fit into my pants a little better. But when I got the, I, I, I said yes, sight unseen. And when I got the file, first of all, it's a lot of pages, um, yeah. <laughs> beautifully written, beautifully photographed, but it was a little daunting, uh, especially when I realized, uh, although I knew, I knew it's a, it's a raw food diet and I love vegetables, a lot of my diet is plant-based anyway. So it wasn't a huge stretch. But what I didn't realize until I got it was that the last two days are all liquid. So day six was was three smoothies and day seven was four juices. And I thought, oh boy, okay, I'm gonna take this one day at a time and just and just see how I feel. And and to fast forward to the end, although we'll talk about this in more detail, I felt great. I felt great. Hey. I had tons of energy. And there was something really interesting that happened. I'm going to say psychologically, mm -hmm. was that I felt more mentally prepared. I always prepare, prepare, prepare for anything I do because I was raised by school teachers. And so if I'm not obscenely over prepared, I feel <laughs> under prepared. So that wasn't the issue. I know how to prepare, but there was something about my focus. I felt I felt that I was mentally preparing every day to lead up to this big event because it was a big event for me. Yeah. And there was something about I'm doing something for my health. Mm -hmm. That's positive. And it made every meal mindful when I was preparing it or when I was eating it or sipping it. it all of my meals for those seven days were were consumed prepared in a more mindful way as opposed to well let me get something on the table <laughs> or let me grab for something right that's yeah. already there right right well that's uh that's a great starter really uh because it is about being more aware of what you put in your body right and especially when you have an important event coming up your food is really the marketing tool for how you look like, how you feel like a week later even. And the changes can happen so fast. How did you experience that? When did you start feeling little differences that were building up? I think after a couple of days, I, start, I noticed a difference in my energy. Mm. I, I had more energy. And I was able to get more done. When you have more energy, you can get more done. And so that was great because 
in addition to preparing for this event, I of course had to do all the other things that I have to do in a day. And so, so that was great. And especially because it's winter, I get a lot of cold mm -hmm. in the winter usually, and we had a lot of great days in February. And so feeling more energy in this kind of bleak time, although things are looking up now, today the sun's out, <laughs> the days are getting longer. It, it was a great feeling and it was unexpected. I did not, I did not expect to feel that much more energy. And I, I really did. And it, great, it felt great. And I, uh, I did find, I did, I, I did notice you did something a little sneaky, right, Claire? You did. Uh, <laughs> yes. Or are we? Uh, is that is that the first day you're eating like uh, it, it was kind of a lot of food? I even told you like I think this might be too much for me. And each day, as I looked at the recipes, each day was fewer calories. Mm -hmm. So that in that seven day period, it wasn't it wasn't a big stretch to get to day six, which was just smoothies which were delicious, yeah. or day seven, which was just juice. So it didn't feel, it, 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 you know, it didn't feel like a shock to mm. my body to yeah. do that. So that's, that's something about the plan that I really appreciated because you'd sort of, you led me by the hand. Mm. And um, I kind of needed that because it was, it was new. It was something really new, but it was also, I saw it as an experiment and um, I like to experiment. I like to try new things. I loved the recipes. Uh, some of them are just keepers. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, tell me which ones. <laughs> That's uh, always interesting to hear. The, the arugula pesto. Mm, yeah, so that's a lovely one. Um, the royal smoothie, which is berries, all berries and a banana. Ugh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yes. Um, I poured it into a beautiful goblet. <laughs> yeah, it makes all the difference, right? To make yes. things beautiful, yes. right? Yes, absolutely. And... Um, and even though I said I, I didn't need all this, you you gave me uh, several chia puddings, and uh, and I think those as well because they're kind of fun to make. <laughs> they are right, yeah. yeah, and and they're easy to make. Now I know that in the beginning you were struggling with a few things, right? Uh, like it was a lot of food. You said it was too much for me, but. When I was creating the plan, I didn't know one. I, I, I didn't want anyone to feel hungry, right? And the lifestyle, like when you eat raw or high raw, so people who are listening, just say hi. Uh, and this is a, a raw meal plan, right? You don't have to cook. And you know what? 90% of all Americans hate cooking anyway. So <laughs> this should be no stretch for you if you hate cooking uh, so you don't have to cook um, but yeah you have to prepare a few things of course uh, now the, the when I was preparing that I didn't didn't want anyone to feel hungry so I um, I don't want to talk about calories either I mean this is not about calories when you eat more plant-based or just plant-based you need to eat more to have the same amount of calories. So that's why I am confident with even if you would have made all the recipes and eaten everything, you would still have lost weight, right? Uh, but for you, it was too much. But yeah, uh, everyone is different, right? Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. So go ahead. Uh, so how did you experience uh, the, like, the amount of food, yes. So for you, it was too much. So someone else who is not a big eater as well, what did you do? How? What can you recommend for those people? Well, I just, uh, I would say if, because you, you gave me a mid-morning snack and a mid-afternoon snack. Yeah. I don't, I'm not much of a snacker. Okay. But I also wasn't hungry, so I didn't need them. But I also, um, I, I'm not a kind of person who goes for breakfast first thing in the morning. It takes mm -hmm. actually a couple of hours for, for me to actually feel ready to have to have anything. So I'd have my smoothie late in the morning. I'd have my salad in the mid middle of the afternoon, and and I just I didn't I didn't get hungry. But I think certainly for people who, if you need that snack, have it. Yeah. Have it. I mean. Yeah. That's why it's there, right? You can yeah. have it, you don't have to, but you can. So uh, that was my philosophy too, behind uh, the, the, the design of the meal plan. It's like, it's there if you need it, if you want it, if you feel like, oh, I'm getting emotional, you know, something kicks in in your life and 
every day something kicks in these times, right? It, these are emotional times. So the snacks are there, but they're the healthy versions of what you may be craving. And that's why there's a lot of chocolate this week, right? <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> Because every woman wants chocolate. So I have quite some chocolatey things in there, right? Yes. <laughs> Did that yeah. help you, knowing oh. that there is chocolate in the back <laughs> ready yeah, for I you? I didn't ever feel deprived. Mm. And I didn't feel like, oh, this is like a crazy diet. I didn't think of it as a diet. I thought of it as a plan. This is yeah. what I'm going to do for the next seven days. But I loved... Uh, I loved all the chocolate. Uh, and yes, the chocolate mousse is another favorite recipe. What a revelation. So I, I, I tend to eat dessert birthdays and holidays, special occasions. It's not a usual thing. And I certainly haven't had chocolate mousse in a long time because I can't, I can't really have cream anymore. Yeah. You know, your body changes over the years and I can't have cream anymore. So folks, you have to try Marie Claire's chocolate mousse. It's made with avocado. I couldn't believe it. I mean, it was a revelation. I, I, I this was like the, the 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 French chocolate mousse I used to have in my childhood. It was so Ooh, good. That's so good. great. <laughs> yeah, so good. I mean, so yeah. you actually had the tasting experience, but you also had the experience of oh, it's something I remember from my childhood because we eat with our memories, right? Right. Right. But I mean, I will I will make this now. That is a oh, that's a keeper as well. Absolutely a keeper. Yeah. And that's so cool when once you stop with the meal plan, you know, this is a meal plan to prepare yourself when you have a speaking opportunity or you have something important, you have your own event or you just want to feel and look good, right? You don't have to wait until you have a certain event happening. Uh, but it is a blueprint that you can use over and over. And when you feel like after that week, you know, I want to keep the keepers. Yeah. You can just incorporate it in, in your current diet. That's really cool. So what else? Uh, what were not, uh, a few other gains? You were very energized already after a few days. You got more done in your day. So what else happened? Um, I I got on the scale. On, on, on day and you eight. never get, go on a scale, right? Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and I was really, I was really shocked. Um, I will tell your viewers, I lost three and a half pounds in one week and I'm a petite person. So that's not insignificant. Mm -hmm. And, and I felt great. So, um, I actually, I, then I did it a second time because yes. I had another speaking engagement and I will say, I think it was two weeks apart. Okay. I will say, I, I know I gained a little of the weight back in between <laughs> and then did it a second time. But the bonus, of the second time was that my husband did it with me. Ooh. So the first time, the first time I did it, I just I told him I was doing it. I showed him the meal plan, and we figured out that he would have dinner with me the first five nights. The only difference would be if he wanted, he would cook his zucchini noodles, and I would have him raw because he couldn't really bear the idea of raw zucchini. So that's what <laughs> yeah. we did the, the first time. And then the second, the, the last two nights when I was having smoothies and juice, he had a pizza or whatever, whatever he did. And then I told him I was going to do it again. He said, I'll do it with you. And I didn't ask him. I didn't ask him. But he watched me do this for a week. And he watched how pleased I was with the results and how great I felt. And um, he had told me, you know, I'm, I'm five pounds overweight. And I thought, well, how can you say five pounds and overweight in the same sentence? However... That's what his doctor told him. So he oh, was really? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, and he's you know he's on he's not a, a large person either. Mm -hmm. So five pounds is is significant. Yeah. So uh, the thing that was great was that I didn't I didn't ever ask him do you want to do this. He just watched me do it. He did part of it with me the first time, mm -hmm. and um, now that we finished the the second round, uh, we have continued with some of it. So. The smoothie every morning, salad for lunch. He snacks more than I do. I'm like, if you're hungry, have a snack. You just yeah. don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. <laughs> and um, and some of the uh, and some of the dinners during the week. So we're we're now kind of uh, bringing bringing the plan into our regular routine, but in a hybrid kind of way. 
Yeah, and that's that's cool, right? I mean, uh, it's it's about being aware. Yeah, or more aware. It's like you know what? I don't have to be hungry. I can lose weight while eating. Enjoy eating, right? Eating delicious uh, meals, and uh, I can still feel great about that. And when we bring more joy back to our the way we eat, we feel better too because you're not being consumed by all these fighting thoughts all day long, right? You don't have to fight your food anymore. It's more freedom, emotional freedom from your food. So I think that's great. Now, your husband did that together with you the second time. So that is, uh, I think that is huge. Can you share us how your husband felt and what his results were? Because I I'm going to everything now. <laughs> he, he felt really good, too. And he didn't feel hungry. I mean, I encouraged him to have all the snacks that you put in the plan. He, oh, I will mention this. This was a thing I thought I was going to struggle with. It was all the water you want me to drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It and, is a struggle. I know. And, <laughs> and what I did is I measured it out. And I found a, I found a pitcher in the cupboard that's exactly the right size. Yeah. And so I would fill it up the night before so I'd be ready the next day with my water. And I got used to it. But he struggled with that a little more than I did. Oh, really? So, okay. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but he lost five and a half pounds. So Five and a half pounds in yeah. one week. Seven one days, week. people. Yep. Of course, men are more privileged than we women. They lose more weight faster. <laughs> But nevertheless, right, he isn't a tall person, so I'm sure he could feel the difference when he was buttoning his shirt or his pants. Absolutely. <laughs> that was a wonderful feeling. But also, he, he also felt uh, the energy that I felt, too, and it, it's a great feeling. It really is. And it's so hard to tell someone, you know, you will feel more energized. You know, what does it even mean? I mean, you can count money, you can say the number of money that you will make more if you do this and that but it's hard to express how you will feel right uh so it's it's just amazing to hear that you both you and your husband now the second time experienced the same uh increase of energy levels so what did you do differently differently or more with that energy nancy both of you i think uh well I, I can't really speak for him, but for me, I just, I got more done. I got yeah. more done. And um, I could, you know, because when, when we're running our own businesses, when we're on our own, which I am and you are, there are always things that you have to do, parts of, of running that business that you don't want to do, that you put off, <laughs> that so go true. on the list <laughs> and stay on the list. They just don't get crossed off. Yeah. And so I had more energy to do those things. Hmm. So that was that was a benefit. So a little less procrastination. That's a big thing, procrastination. Yes. Wow, that I think that's a big win, Nancy. Uh, on top of everything else, but getting things done that you don't want to do, I'll sign for that. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh yeah that's wonderful so let, let's talk a little bit about the recipes you know i, I want to hear more about how you experienced that because you did uh two test runs right um what did you do differently the second time because you know when we do something a first time you just want to to test it uh and that's what i asked you anyway like to keep track because i want to hear how it works you know i don't want to promise anyone anything mm -hmm. that i can't deliver so you were keeping track of that but then when you do it the second time you start thinking for yourself oh i could do this or i could change that so what were some of the changes that you made uh, because that's interesting for me to hear i think uh it was a little more streamlined I think the, the second time, I mean, anytime you make a recipe, I'm a reader, you know, I'm a, a big reader of recipes. And the first time I wanted to do it, you know, exactly. Uh -huh. So it's a lot of reading. And um, the second time you just get faster at it. And then making the smoothies, uh, I got I got really into just kind of experimenting, you know, with your basic recipe, you know, oh, I want this kind of fruit today instead of that. And they actually became really fun to make. And then I also found it's it's almost as fast to do two as one. 
you know, because I'm making one for one for my husband and one for myself for the next day. Yeah. And um, and I have started doing that when I'm cooking dinner. That's just part of that's part yeah. of my dinner prep is is now making these smoothies and and um, and the salads. Um, I I also will say that there's some certain equipment that you have to have like the first time. Yeah. As I said, day seven is juice, and I didn't I didn't have a juicer. Yeah. But I thought I want to do this. I'm going to do this, and mm -hmm. I I took the time. I got cheesecloth from the market. And mm -hmm. I strained. I, I used the blender and I strained everything through the cheesecloth, but it took a lot of time. And that was a mess. That was a hot mess. <laughs> it was. Oh, I have a. Did I send you the photo? It's. Really yeah, I, I saw the photo. It was a hot comical. mess. <laughs> I mean, it's comical, but I just said, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to yeah. do this. Yeah. And um, so then the, the after hearing that story, you advised me to just repeat day six. Which um, yeah. which is what I did, yeah. and that worked, and that worked fine. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't suggest my science project of juicing without a juicer. I wouldn't suggest <laughs> that. Um, I would also say that I acquired some jars after I did it the first time because for some of the recipes, like the chia puddings, you really have to have jars. Yeah. And um, because I'm always looking for space, I had in a fit of peak cleaned out the cupboard of jars so I had to you know re <laughs> reacquire some jars but that made that that made a huge um, a huge difference and and you also gave me uh, you gave a salad dressing that's made in a jar which I love yeah I don't love cleaning out the blender I and so, so am on the same page with you yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly and it's it is a lot of cleaning out the blender yeah. but you know I've gotten used to that and like anything when you do it all the time, you get faster at it. Yes, and it, you know what? It's it's you did this like the second time, right? Uh, so what I want to say is, it's amazing how quickly you learn and how quickly you adapt. You know, if you would cook a new recipe, that would make would take more time than cooking it a second time, right? Okay. It's actually the same thing. It's the same amount of time that you would invest. But I know out of experience that people, when it's a healthy meal, they will kind of object more to it. It will be, eh, am I going to spend that time on a new recipe for a healthy recipe? Whereas we don't think so much about cooking a new recipe right oh i'm gonna make a new recipe so it's really a mindset thing uh, i noticed but um, when you practice it again and so i'm happy to hear that nancy how um how much faster that went and how much easier it went it became more of a flow and that was just the second time you did it. it's all practicing right Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure that you, uh, as you will repeat it for other speaking opportunities that come up for you, it will get easier and easier. And in the mid, I mean, after a few times, that is something I will always tell my clients too. You know, you start with a recipe, but then you adjust it to your own taste, right? You know the basics now. You know the principle now. Just play. Let let go of the recipe, start playing, and that's when you can let go of measurements, right? Personally, I hate measurements. I don't really like writing out a recipe because I know, oh, now I have to measure everything. And usually it's like boom, 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 and then tasting and just adding what you love in that recipe. And that is the ultimate outcome that I want uh, you to have, actually, by creating that flow. Just boom, boom, boom. And you don't care anymore about, uh, is this a tablespoon or a teaspoon? That is where the time goes, right? Uh, when you have to measure things. And that's where you can cut uh, a recipe, preparing a recipe, like, half down the time that, that it takes, actually. So mm -hmm. is that something that you experienced too? Could you play more the second time? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And and you gave, uh, you provided a lot of freedom in the first place because so many of the recipes will tell you, okay, this amount and stir it or shake it or whatever you're going to do and, and taste what you miss. Yeah. I love that. That's in several, several recipes, taste what yeah. Add what yeah, you miss. And add it's, what you miss. Add what yeah. you miss. And I love that because I felt like, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. 
I'm going to do that. She doesn't say black pepper, but I'm going to put some black pepper in here. Yeah, sure. I mean, you have that freedom. A recipe is only a guideline, right? It's basic for certain principles. When you do this, you get that. And then, you know, once you know the principles, you, you're just free to play and have fun, really. Um, did you experience it as something fun to do? Because I'm trying to add fun and playing into the game here uh, because it's so important. It, it takes you in a calmer state of being after a long working day. So how did you experience that? I, I think some of the recipes were a lot of fun to make. Mm -hmm. Like for example, the chia puddings, they're just fun to make. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some ingredients in a jar, shake them and, yeah. and you know, watch it turn, transform. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I love the science behind how when you combine foods, they, they transform. So that's, that's fun for me. That's fun for me already. But there is a bit of playfulness in, in the writing of the recipes that, that made them fun, um, not just to do, but also to read. Mm. Like, like I said, I'm a reader. I'm a person who loves to read recipes. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so uh, you had uh, several questions that were coming up. What, what was one of those questions that uh, you were wondering about in the beginning? Uh, so, you know, because I'm adjusting, this is becoming, I mean, it is now uh, a program that I'm offering uh, to speakers, to business women, high performers. Um, but were, what were some of the questions that you um, Well, at first, I, I mean, I was, as, as I was starting on, you know, day one and day two, I was wondering how I was going to feel mm -hmm. on day six and seven. Yeah. Um, and I, and so I was wondering, and I, I was a little trepidatious, but when I, when I got there, I felt fine. I didn't feel deprived. I didn't feel hungry. I really felt, I felt great. Yeah. Uh, but I was wondering, that was a question. That was a question. Yeah. And um, then I did have some questions about, yeah, about portions. Like, mm -hmm. the cheese puddings, am I supposed to eat this whole thing? How much can I, I eat? Can I have half, you, know? <laughs> you can you know? eat it all. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that question now that you mentioned it. That was a funny question. I was like, when I read that question, it's like, Nancy, just eat it all. <laughs> you will be fine. <laughs> we are so conditioned, right? We're so conditioned that when we eat healthy, we can only eat smaller portions. We can only eat less. We can only eat, eat fewer things. And then when, uh, I mean, that opposition of, yeah, you can just have it all and you will be just great. <laughs> well, I've been, I've been hearing that my whole life. Oh, it's yeah. all about portion size, portion control. Americans eat portions that are too large. I mean, I've, I've just been hearing that story my whole life. Yeah. So that's where that comes from. Yeah, you were asking asking me. I'm, I'm just uh, replaying this uh, uh, moment now where I read your questions. Uh, how much is a, uh, a serving? How much is a serving? And I was like, I don't know what a serving is. It's just what I made for you. <laughs> it's like, you can eat it all. And so I was Googling, what is a serving in America? Because I have no clue what a serving is. So that was really funny. And actually, I learned a lot from your questions. Uh, I also learned like, yeah, this is becoming a... Uh, a, a troubleshoot, you know, those are all uh, little videos that I want to offer when you are on the program so that, I mean, you're not the only one who has these questions when you start, right? And they will pop up for other people. So I'm definitely incorporating those into the following up emails, you know, that they will get and videos. So thank you so much for that. That's very, very helpful for me. Um, yeah, um, what I'm thinking of is like, there was a more challenging moment. Um, that is something you mentioned afterwards, you know, there was one day that didn't go so well. And we want to be completely transparent and honest about that as well. Yeah, so, yeah. that's right. There was a day Day five, actually. Um, I woke up and I thought, oh, I'm coming down with another cold. Because mm. I just, I couldn't, I, I just, I, I felt lo completely low energy, like I feel when I have a cold. And by maybe two in the afternoon, I started to feel okay. 
I was like, that's odd. And then afterward, you told me that that, that can happen, right? Yeah. That that you know, sag in the energy. And then after after day five, my energy was back up like in the stratosphere, really, really feeling great, really feeling high energy. And I noticed it happened again, second time on day five. And I thought again, I thought wow, that yeah, is this, yeah, this is this is weird. I'm yeah, yeah I don't I and um and then I remember, oh, what day is it? Oh, it's day five. So it happened exactly the same way both times. Now well, that's interesting. I didn't yeah. know that, Nancy. Yeah. With, that's good. Um, with my my husband, that didn't happen at all. Hmm. Yeah. Not at all. Not I at told all. you, men are privileged. <laughs> but this is interesting. So, uh, and I want to like go a little bit into that because I did not want to tell you anything about what was possibly going to happen right because i wanted you to be a guinea pig who didn't know about anything who had never done it before i wanted really uh tabula rasa <laughs> to just get the real deal um effects and the the questions and everything the experiences so i did not want to tell you much up front right i said you know what here's the plan just go with it and um, that's it, uh, and make note of everything. And that was very, very helpful because um, you were not like, I didn't work on you, this is what can happen because the mind picks that all up. And then when you prepare someone and tell them, this is what can happen, it's like with the, the thing that's with medication, the paper, and where it says those are the possible side effects. And of course, you will start feeling the side effects. And I did not want that to happen uh, in this test run. So that was very interesting. And it's very interesting for me to hear it happened a second time as well. So I do want to um, explain it a little to our listeners here. Um, when you go on a uh, a week even on a raw food diet or plant-based diet and you stop eating all the foods that contain a lot of toxicity chemicals additives that you're daily adding to your body you stop that flow of adding toxicity you actually start up a natural detox and it's a very soft detox really uh, but what happens after a few days and that's what you experienced nancy you got a lot of energy only a few days in. That's how quickly it can happen, right? Um, and that's amazing. But when the body gets energy and there is some damage done that has to be repaired, it will say after a few days when you're at that peak, okay, you got energy. I'm taking that energy because you know what? I have some repair to do and I need your energy to do that, to restore your damaged cells. And so that is when the body gets fatigued, you feel like you have to lie down, you get a headache, you know, and that is oftentimes the moment when people will say, oh, this is no good for me. This healthy diet, this raw food diet, oh, it doesn't work for me. I feel worse than before and they stop. And then, of course, it will feel better because the detox stops. And so when you get through that day, and that's what you did, right? you rested, I guess, you laid down, you just took it a little bit slower, and you got past the detox, and the day after, plum, all your light, your light bulb went on. <laughs> and that's what happens, and what you experienced was you went through the healing crisis and you need the healing crisis to get out to the other side and feel much better and i know out of experience and it's something my clients experience when they're here with their energy and they go up and then they come down and then when they come back it's like all of a sudden they feel like this can you relate to that nancy yes and i'll say two mm -hmm. things about it the that one day of of feeling low energy and okay i don't feel the way i did yesterday did not um, did not deter me at all from doing it again, from doing it a second time. Not only that, I forgot about it. Like I forgot Ooh. that happened. So it's not it's not like I felt terrible, but I did notice it. Yeah, and the two weeks in between, you know, you um, you said you gained a little bit of weight back. Um, 
did you experience that as some kind of a setback or how did you experience that? Not really, because mm -hmm. I, I, I see this as a kind of trial and error. Oh yeah. You know, mm -hmm. how, how am I going to incorporate what I've learned from you mm -hmm. into my everyday lifestyle? Yeah. So I'm, you know, I see this as a, you know, it's not a sprint, right? It's a marathon. It's how am I, how am I going? Cause I'm not, I'm not thinking ab about it in terms of this is a diet. I said that earlier. Mm -hmm. I see it as, okay, these are some practices now I, I can incorporate into my lifestyle. And that's what I want to do. Mm, yeah, that's lovely. And even, yes, uh, when you gained a little bit of weight back in those two weeks that you went off the plan, and that's I, actually normal because you went back to uh, what you were normally eating. And of course, you haven't stabilized the effects, you know, after one week. Um, but it's already such an amazing result, right? Knocking off three and a half pounds and then increasing your energy levels like that, like you did, getting more done, stop procrastinating at your desk, uh, doing the things that you hate doing anyway. Oh, I love that. So, and the other thing I absolutely love is how you seduced your husband <laughs> just by doing it and him picking up the vibe of how great it felt for you. And uh, yeah, maybe also seeing how it, you knocked off those pounds in one week. And what is one week, right? Uh, so I'm so, so happy that he joined you in that. So it was fun. It was fun. I have to say it was fun to do it together. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's so much more fun to have a partner in crime even if it's a healthy thing <laughs> to do. You know, and I would say to anyone else who's going to try it, uh, find a buddy to yeah. do it with so you can compare notes, you know? Yeah, for it, sure. That, that made it a lot more fun. I mean, the first time it was, it was an adventure and it was an experiment and I took a lot of notes and all that. So it was a project. The yeah. second time it was just fun. Yes, yes. So, and with you having done those two test runs and gathering all these data uh, for me, I can't thank you enough. It was wonderful that you did that. And you may, I mean, you just jumped into it. You said, I'm going to commit to this, you know, I want to lose these pounds. <laughs> and uh, that's what I love about you, that you are always committed to what you're doing. And now you can take what you need and leave the rest, right? And incorporate it in your lifestyle. And I love the, uh, what you said about that it was fun, because especially now when things are hard, everything is hard right now. It's rough out there. And so you don't need to add hard things to your life. You don't need... I mean, being healthy and eating healthy shouldn't be a drag. It, it isn't boring. It has to be easy. It should be easy. I mean, just as easy as getting out and getting the pizza or the hamburger. And uh, hearing from you how much fun you had and how easy and doable it was, that means a lot to me and because that is the whole purpose of eating healthy. It becomes a natural flow and you love the way you look like and feel like. So thank you for that. So being um, having tested all of that and having those wonderful results, uh, I want to tell our listeners, you know, if you want to prepare yourself, your body, your focus, uh, you want to knock off a few pounds in one week. It's a seven day meal plan. Um, it, PM me, email me at mariclaire at energyforexpress.com because uh, this is how I can help you prepare your body and your focus and getting more done in your day for your next speaking event. I know that a lot has to be prepared. And Nancy, she is a theater director. She is a, a public speaking coach. So she has a lot on her hands and she doesn't have much time to spend hours in the kitchen either. So um, it's all fine tuned to the fact that you don't have that much time. And of course we do prepare for the week, you know, um, you will have to take out a block of time. And in the beginning, that will be a little bit more than when you 
redo it, right, Nancy? The first time you prepared, uh, that took you longer than I anticipated. Um, but I adjusted that in the second test run. Um, did, was that better for you, the second test run, the prep day? Yes. Mm. Yes, it was It was simpler. And um, and again, as I said earlier, when you doing something a second time is always going to be faster and easier yeah. than the first time. But I was, you know, I was very aware the first time of measuring everything, and and so having a little more freedom, it it does it does make it uh, go faster. Yeah, and it's no rocket science. I mean, you, you, and you get a feeling for oh, I don't like this, but I do like that. So put that together, can't go wrong. <laughs> so, um, and that's where you save a lot of time, of course. But yeah. Um, so this is how I can help you if you're a speaker, if you're a businesswoman who wants to feel and look amazing at her next event, or if you just want to look and feel amazing every single day, right? Mm -hmm. But this is a week-long program and that we can do one-on-one. -on -one. And if that is something you want and you can like learn it with me and then you can use it, it's really, it's a blueprint. I call it a food print <laughs> so you can use it over and over and over again once you had it you own it and so is that something you want to do and learn pm me here or write me at mariclaire at energyforexperts.com i'll show you the email like that and so yeah that's what i can give you uh, lose a few of those pounds and if you're a man you will lose even more in a week <laughs> It's amazing. So do you think your husband will be having those kind of keepers as well, just as you have? Absolutely. He's he's motivated like me. He, he feels great. He, yeah. he also feels a sense of accomplishment, which oh, wonderful. You know, I do, too. I do, too. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it, like I said at the beginning of this conversation, it did feel a little daunting at first. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so just getting through it was an accomplishment you know yes. doing it getting to the end but also feeling great about it and feeling like oh i did something i did yeah. something new i tried something new i tried something new in the middle of the winter <laughs> you know yeah. i was gonna say both times that i did the plan that we had a snowstorm both times oh and I boy was at the window, i was looking at the window thinking now any other time i'd be making soup right now and here i am yeah. preparing a raw meal and at, at the first time, it felt a little strange. Okay, middle of a snowstorm. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm making this raw meal. But, but I do want to say though that it at this moment in time that we're all in, it's a fantastic time to try something new. And nice. and this the meal plan was was great for both of us in that way. We did something new, and we had fun. Yeah. That is a wonderful way to wrap this up, Nancy. Uh, if you want to try something new, uh, and you know, whenever we have something new in our life, we get excited, right? Uh, it's motivating. And as you said, when you accomplish your goal, it, it motivates to do more and to feel more, I mean, of the same experience. Because you know, you achieve that in one week. Imagine if you do this for two weeks, a month, or a year, right? How would that make you look? How will that make you feel like? So it's amazing. And I applaud you, Nancy, for doing this in the middle of the winter with two, two uh, snowstorms, eating all raw. You know, people often say, ah, I can't do this when it's cold. But actually, it starts cleaning up all the gunk in your system and it, it warms up from the inside, right? There are, uh, and that's why I, um, it, the recipe so they would warm you up uh, from the inside but that was amazing nancy i hope that our listeners got something out of this uh, and that they will pm me and uh, get in touch with me because i adjusted this program with all the hurdles that nancy um, bumped into and i thought okay i will um meet my people there so they don't have to bump into that because honestly nancy i just sent you off you were on your own i said this is going to be a standalone product uh without my help but i realized after you running the, the this test 
that it will be nicer if people have me on the side and <laughs> personal um, uh, input and answering their questions in real time. So that's what I added to this program. And if that's something you want, PM me. Okay. Nancy, thank you so much. And we'll be talking again next week. Um, so keep an eye here on these weekly interviews. Uh, next week, we haven't set the topic yet, but when it's there, you will be updated by that and get uh, click the Get Reminder button and you will be joining us live. Nancy, bye. And everyone who's listening here, bye-bye. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.